Yeah, I'm going to say all praise to you. And to you, I'm going to say all praise to you. I'm going to say all praise to you. I'm going to say all praise to you. And to the elders of Greenman Stone. Shalom to all the brothers in my cross world out there pushing this truth in our sincerity and in all honesty. You know, this is a brother from James Jamaica Camp, um, Yashamai. I know more on touch on um, this video, you know, with our Prime Minister um, Andrew Oles, you know, um, out in Jamaica, you know, speaking about, you know, um, saving the rod and spoiling the child. You know, and over the years, you know, more and more I see it, uh, and I've watch, been watching it over the years. Oh, much so-called Jamaicans, you know, which are merely from a tribe of Benjamin, right, that toss the Bible to the side, right, and you know, out in Jamaica, you know, going back then, you have certain principles, you know, where all people, where I like, believe certain principles basically go back to the scripture, like certain, you know, certain laws, you know, and more and more we see all them pushing the Bible to the side, toss it to the side, and uh, gravitate more and more to, you know, this American way of life. Right, them drinking more and more, you know, as Buju that say, as Buju Bantan that say, when they're gonna stop drinking them Kool Aid, more and more we see our, 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 peop, our people out here, you know, take on to the American way of life, right? And this, this is this way of life is a problem, not the Bible, right? But you know, they don't like you believe that this Bible is a problem, right? The scripture tell us that in um, Proverbs, um, I'll bring it out, Proverbs 22 and verse 6. Uh, Train up a child in the way, right? He should go, he should go. And when he is whole, he will not depart from it, right? And a lot of people out here back then, they believe in these things. We have still have some, we believe. But, you know, more and more we see how them are tossed, you know, the Bible to the side more and more because, you know, it make, it make it look like the Bible is a problem, right? Which is Bible is not the problem. The problem is the society. Right, the wickedness of the society and the wicked rulers of the society will govern the society, right? For them ways go contrary to the ways of the Heavenly Father. Right? When Andrew John, John. Thomas said, I never tell you, sir, you must clean up your room and spread up your bed. Wait. When are we going to reach a point as a country? of our children does not mean using violence on them to get them to do what you want them to do. When is spearing the rod not spoiling the child? These are questions that we as Jamaicans are going to have to answer. Right, and you know, I mean, really, uh, you know, uh, support, you know, the abusing of child because, right, you know, we have certain, you know, certain parents, right, especially, you know, the mothers, a lot of mothers, them try to take out, you know, certain hunger, certain stress that them have, you know, with the child, father and child, right, and, you know, me not promote that or, or me not support that, but according to what the scripture say, right, it's supposed to, right, um, punish your youth or your son, your daughter, right, if they're not basically you know, following the right way or the right path. Right? This is um Proverbs twenty two, I mean I jump to verse uh, verse fifteen say, right? Foolishness is bound in the heart, meaning the mind, go back to the Hebrew word lab of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. Right? So the so the, the rod of correction shall drive it from him. So according to the scripture, nothing wrong if you're basically, you know, um be the child, right, in the right way, not the wrong way, right, because as I mentioned, we don't support the whole abusing thing, right, and a lot of you get abused because, you know, the, the mother and the father have things and they take it out on the child, right, but according to what the scripture says, right, foolishness is born in the mind of a child, right, and the road of correction is going to drive it far from him, right, this is Proverbs 23, 13, so with all not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with a rod, he shall not die. Right? So nothing no wrong to basically, you know, you punish a child. But, you know, we see how more and more, as I mentioned, our Prime Minister out here are basically, you know, a push more and more the ways of the Heavenly Father. Or the Bible, you know, Bible, the Bible way, or the Bible believing, 
you know, out of this society more and more. And you see what's happening right now. Right? Alright? Uh, this is Ecclesiasticus 30 and verse and verse 8 say, And how has not broken become it headstrong. Right? And a child left to himself will be willful. And in this society today, we have a lot of willful child. Right? The whole discipline thing gone out the door, especially, you know, out in Jamaica in a time like this, right? Just even looking for social media, right? The things them with these young youths, you know, young little youth with us, you know, those are group, I go to basic school, the things that them are saying, the things that them are do, and, you know, people see it funny, right? They see it that entertaining to people, no? Right? Just check the internet, right? Even TikTok. Look for the things that the young little youth them are do, and people see it as, you know, as fun and entertaining, right? We show how much of people gone, you know? how far are people gone, right? From the right way or from our power, right? Cocker thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will be. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. Love not with him, lest thou have sorrow. Right? So scripture says, laugh not with him. Right? What do you mean by laugh with him? If I'm doing foolishness, I'm doing something wrong, you're supposed to laugh. Like, uh, you see a lot of these videos on TikTok and, you know, on the internet with some little young little youth. Some of them can't even be able to walk and some something. But when people see it as, you know, as fun and entertaining. All right, verse 10 say, laugh not with him, lest thou have sorrow with him, and lest thou gnash thy teeth. At the hen, and a lot of time, you know, out in Jamaica, I see, you know, children shame them parents in the town because they uh, discipline them, you know, right way before them carry them a road. Uh, you have a saying out in Jamaica, you know, you have to learn to dance a yard before you dance abroad. And that's what happened to a lot of uh, young youths them now. They don't grow up in a, you know, and discipline home or the parents are discipline them. So when them, you know, dis the parents are discipline them, so when they come on road and then I'm embarrassed, you know, I shame them parents and know them a child with a discipline thing. Right? And you know, a lot of these a lot of these also, you know, that yeah, I go back to the curse, you know, the Heavenly Father. Right? A lot of these young youths them 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 grew up by with their mother. Right? Because yeah, I go back to the curse. So they don't really get the right discipline because you know father the one we have to basically really put put in a real the whole discipline thing. You know, in, in full effect, because you know, mother really can't. You know, mother, woman really basically really build for do, do these type of things, yo. Know. Right? So, yeah, I go back to the curse anyway. But we know the time now when, you know, our Lord and Savior, right, um, how shy is getting ready to set, set back everything in order. So, we as a nation gonna basically, you know, go back to the right way, you know, of how. You know, things supposed to be done because everything now is out of course, as quite scripture say. The world hurt is out of course, especially now in a time like this. In all different type of madness, you know, things we you know we never dream of seeing happen right now. Even with these young youths, right? The things we see them do on even the internet. A young little child. The things where they do and people see it as it's fun and entertaining. You have a shame shy about to fix that. Right, fix all the problems we have right now. Right, that's what I'm coming back for basically there. Set back, you know, everything in order. Right? Bring out one more scripture. Alright, this is um Isaiah um, 3 and verse 5 say. And the people shall be oppressed everyone by another. And everyone by his neighbor, the child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the base against the honorable. So everything is going the opposite way, right, in the society, right? We live now in a backward society. Verse 12 says, As for my people, children are the oppressors, right, and women rule over them. So this is a part of the punishment, you know, of the nation of Israel, right? The men of Israel, especially. Right, because you know we're supposed to be the head, right? And now, in this time, as current where the scripture even says right here, right? Women 
rule over them. Right, and this is First Corinthians um, 11 and verse 3. Say, but, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, right? Mashiach, right? In the, in the Hebrew. And the head of the woman is the man, right? So the head of every man, every Israelite man, is, is a Mashiach, right? You know, Christ is here, but you know, it's Mashiach in the Hebrew. This is our Lord and Savior. Yahushai, right? The man of the people ignorantly call Jesus. And he said, and the head of the woman is the man. Right? So the man is supposed to be the head of the woman. Right? And the head of Christ, Mashiach, is God. Right? Yahweh. So there's a harder. But here the scripture tells us, right, the punishment that the Heavenly Father, you know, bring upon us the Israelite men, the so-called Negro. Latinos, you know, and Native American Indian, because it's a punishment from the Heavenly Father, while everything is out of order right now. Right, as we have mentioned, we live in at a time now when he's getting ready now to come back and set back everything in order, because everything is going the opposite way. Right, and that's what here in Jamaica, every foot gone out a giant. Right, so back to the scripture, say, as for my people, which is so called Negroes, Latinos, you know, a Native American Indian, right? In this case, talking about the man, right? Children are the oppressors and women rule over them. So women are rule of us right now, that's a part of the curse. Why are all these things happening right now? The children are more harder, right? And more and more, you know, the, the one that's set up over us by our enemy, right? our enemies over us now, using them against us, you and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee, which is who? Who are lead us right now? Right? The scripture says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Who are the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4. Tell us that Edom, which is who? The so called white people. Right? Thou shalt call in the border of wickedness. So, Esau, Edom, which is the so called white man, set up the woman over us. We should go back to the curse. So the scripture says, O oh my people, they which lead thee, cast thee to air and destroy the way of thy parts. So this is we, this way of this current way of life, right? Destroy us completely. Right? Everything is out of order. Alright? We're going to one more scripture and close off. Uh, this is Jeremiah 6 and verse 16 say. Thus said, thus said the Lord. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old parts. Where is the good way and what therein? Right, so the way of the whole Father, yeah, yeah, the way of the Heavenly Father, right, is the right way. Not this way of life. This way of life is bringing nothing but, you know, stress upon top of stress, right? Death upon top of death unto us, right? So this way is not working for us, right? But the scripture tells us, say, Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old parts where is the good way, right? And walk therein, and he shall find rest for your soul. But it's how I'm right now. Majority of our people, right? This is what they mind this is the mindset. Because it was predestined. The scripture says, let the multitude that was born in vain perish. And that's what take place. Right? But they said, we will not walk therein. So they're going to get destroyed. So majority of people are going to get destroyed in the time to come. Right? The scripture says, all who join unto them, I'll get trust too. Right? So that means I'll praise this anana. And the hour, for Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, for Hashem, Akar, Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Graham and Stone. Shalom to all the brothers. And, you know, I'm out there pushing this truth in all sincerity and all honesty. Shalom.